Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to explore the line integral, and then in the next video, we'll show you an example of that. But first, let's get the concept straight. In electricity and magnetism, we often have to multiply a line with a vector field. For example, as we travel from one point to another point through a, man a magnetic field or through an electric field, we need to be able to make that or do that multiplication. And that's, in essence, what we call a line integral in electricity and magnetism. So let's say we have an arbitrary vector field. We call the vector field equal to the vector A. And let's say that we have a line going from point 1 to point 2, and clearly it goes through the vector field. And of course, that line would be represented by some sort of equation represented in x and y and z dimensions. And let's say that we pick an arbitrary point on that line. Let's call that this point right here. And that then is direct, that then is identified by a position vector. So our position vector R1 points to a particular point on the line. And on a slight distance away from that, we have another point on the line. And another position vector R2 points to that line. Then we can define that small change on the line as being dr. It's a small vector going from here to there. And that can be defined by R2 minus R1, which is position vector 2 minus position vector 1. Now, with a line integral or with a line, a small segment on the line is often called a DL. And so instead of calling a DR, we can simply call that line segment a DL. And then if we want to multiply that line segment, that small DL, with the vector field, that's simply the vector field dotted with the DL. And of course, we know that that is equal to the magnitude of the vector field at that point times the magnitude of that small line segment times the cosine of the angle between the two. Now what do we do when we want to multiply that line, the whole line, with the vector field? Not just a, a small segment, but the entire line. Well, then we need to sum up all the small little multiplications of the, all, all the small DLs with the vector field, and that, of course, then becomes an integral. That means that if we want to multiply the entire line from point 1 to point 2 across that vector field, then we simply have to integrate all the small little additions. Of course, integration means adding up to all the small little multiplications. So we multiply the vector field times the DL along the way of that particular line. And so we integrate along the entire curve. Or if we want to write it like this, since we know that a dot DL is equal to a DL times the cosine of theta, we can say we simply integrate across or along that line when we multiply each small little segment of the DL times the vector field times the cosine of the angle between them. And of course, you can see as you go through the vector field that the angle continues to change, so we would have to have some sort of understanding of what the angle is at each point along the line between the line and between the vector field, or I should say between the line and the vector field, of course. Now, we also know from the dot product that we can dot it like this. So we can take the x component of the vector field, multiply it times the x component of the little line segment, and then we multiply the y component of the vector field times the line segment the little dy portion of the line segment, and so forth, understanding, of course, that any line segment in three-dimensional space can simply be expressed as a small change in the x direction, plus a small change in the y direction, plus a small change in the z direction. Then dotting the two vectors, the vector field and the dl, we then simply end up with the x components added together, plus the y components multiplied together, plus the z components multiplied together. And essentially, then, we can say that when we integrate, a line segment through a vector field is simply the integral along that curve of the vector field times dotted with dl, which is simply equal to the integral of the multiplication of each of the three components of the vector field multiplied times each of the three components of the small line segment. And so when we use the Cartesian coordinate system, we can express it in terms of a sub x dx plus a sub y dy plus a sub z dz. This then becomes what we call the line integral when we integrate a line across a vector field. And that's typically how we do it in electricity magnetism. All right, so maybe you didn't quite understand what I said. That's quite OK. Let me now show you an example in the next video of how to actually execute something like this to give you a little bit of understanding of what a line integral is. And that's how it starts.